almost always in every film starts with eve teasing Union Cabinet Minister for Women and Child Development Menaka Gandhi blames movies for the rising crime against women she asks for the industry to be more responsible Make sex determination test mandatory suggests the Maharashtra's Public Accounts Committee the com committee hopes that doing so will help curb the practice of female feticide नर्मदा जी के दोनों तटों पर पांच पांच किलोमीटर दूर तक जितनी दारू की दुकानें थी एक अप्रैल से सारी बंद कर दी गई है कलारियां बंद कर दी गई है वो दुकानें बंद कर दी गई है Liquor has been banned in Madhya Pradesh. The Chief Minister Shivraj Singh Chauhan says alcohol will be phased out from the state. The state of Madhya Pradesh is going to be a dry state. most always in every film starts with eve teasing the man the man and his friends will surround a woman be mean to her trip her up show her down uh, abuse her do touch her inappropriately and then slowly slowly she falls in love with him jis tarah se sare picturize hote hain ki hero jo hai heroine ke piche bhag raha hai ruk jana ruk jana humse do baatein karke chali jana और इस तरह के इतने गाने हैं मैं चीज बड़ी हूँ मस्त मस्त तो एक तरह से वो पोट्रे करते हैं महिलाओं को इस एक सेक्स ऑब्जेक्ट की तरह आई थिंक शी इज जस्ट वॉन्ट्स टू पास जस्ट पास ऑन द रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी ऑफ हर एंड हर गवर्नमेंट फेलियर गवर्नमेंट फेलियर टू प्रोवाइड सेफ्टी एंड सिक्योरिटी टू द वोमेन ऑफ द कंट्री को आउट ऑफ न्यूज होता है जब भी उसकी पूछताछ खत्म होती है तो वो फिल्म इंडस्ट्री और एंटरटेनमेंट इंडस्ट्री का इस्तेमाल करता है हमारी फिल्म इंडस्ट्री के अगेंस्ट कमेंट्स पास करता है और सडनली न्यूज में आना वो शुरू हो जाता है इफ शी फील्स दैट बॉलीवुड फिल्म्स इनसाइड वायलेंस देन व्हाई डजंट शी सेट अप अ बोर्ड टू स्टडी दैट एंड मेक कंक्रीट रिकमेंडेशंस व्हिच कैन बी इंप्लीमेंटेड हाउएवर इफ यू ट्राई टू कट फिल्म्स और मेक करेक्शंस इन देम इट वुड बी अ वायलेशन ऑफ फंडामेंटल राइट ऑफ स्पीच एंड एक्सप्रेशन स्टॉकिंग हैज बीन ओवर अ पीरियड ऑफ टाइम ग्लोरीफाइड इन मूवीज इट इज गुड इफ अ गर्ल सेज नो एंड द हीरो चेजेस द हीरोइन ऐसा कुछ भी नहीं है लोगों की मानसिकता के ऊपर है कि वो कैसा सोचते हैं कैसा वो समाज के ऊपर डिपेंड करता है जो भी सिनेमा में हम दिखाते हैं युवक जो है उससे बहुत प्रभावित होते हैं और उसका इन्फ्लुएंस उन पर पड़ता है पिक्चर्स विच आर बीन मूवीज विच आर बीन क्रिएटेड नाउ डेज इट्स एक्चुअली गिविंग अ बैड ओपिनियन टू द गर्ल्स एज वेल एज टू द बॉयज Uh, I think it's all completely on the people's mind. I don't think there's any effect on the movies. Movies don't play any kind of role in. I mean, it's just fiction. People should understand that, and their uh, mentality should grow. You know. You no, know, some people who get influenced a lot, you know, from the movie because they are damn addicted to movies. You know, they follow movie, they breathe movie, they, you know. So it, it's 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 actually you know it, it makes sense that you know movie actually influences. I think I think God has given us brains to think. I don't think that uh, anything can influence us. The movie why are you going to relate your personal life with a movie like it's fair whatever they want to show they can and personally everyone's inspired it's just for fun and entertainment songs and bollywood movies basically celebrate how uh, ogling is and how we, uh, they celebrate stalking basically Well, it's a very interesting comment that has been made by Mrs. Menaka Gandhi, who is in charge of uh, the welfare of women and children in the country. She's the union minister, and I must tell you, viewers, before we begin this discussion, that I quite frankly agree with her. That there are a lot of movies that come out in this country in various languages that point out quite simply that if a young man stalks and harasses a woman for long enough, she will ex she will appreciate his persistence. and fall in love with him for example badrinath ki dulhaniya varun's character relentlessly stalks alia until she falls in love with him he keeps saying hum kal fir aayenge that is a stalker in ranjana 
the hero of the film constantly grabbing the heroine's hand in public, threatening to end his life. And it is shown in the film how, how much she appreciates it. In Dar, Rahul believes that his true love can only be experienced by constantly prank calling her and carving her name out on his chest. The catchphrase of that film is, Tu haakar ya naakar, tu hai meri kiran. We've heard enough for people who grew up on that catchphrase. And it goes on and on and on and on. How do we justify films like Grand Masti or Great Grand Masti or Bachna e Haseeno where women are being objectified? I understand and also we must remember that the minister in this case did not say she was going to cut these films or censor them. She asked for the industry to be more responsible. And it is widely accepted by most women's rights activists that stalking is the first step to acid attacks, stalking is the first step to molestation, and stalking is the first step to what eventually leads to rape. So are we here perpetrating a culture across the country of young men who grow up watching movies that make them believe that if they stalk someone with enough persistence that she will eventually <coughs> relent? Is it too much to ask for an industry to be more responsible? Are they putting their idea of making money ahead of basic safety of Indian women, that's the question I'm asking and of you as well. You've seen all of the, women, the, the movies that I've just pointed out. Pick up the phone and call us. Call us. Joining me in the studio, Brinda Adige, women's rights activist from Bangalore. Kashyap Swarup is a stand-up comedian. Palkan is the founder of Palkan Bandhikar Weddings, etc. But she's also here right now as a young lady in Mumbai, bringing in her voice and how she feels about what's going on in our movies. Naveen Chomal is an advocate. Akshadeep Sabir is a director. Sanjana is an actor who joins us in Bangalore. Simi Chandok is the editor-in-chief of uh, Zoom TV. Dr. Anjali Chabria is a psychiatrist and the founder of Mind Temple. I welcome all of you to this conversation. Opening statements from everybody. Let's start with uh, Simi Chandok. Simi, where do you stand on this? Do you think that films that we release in India, I'm not saying all of them, are disrespectful to women and actually encourage young men to think stalking is the way to a woman's heart? Faye, you know, I would kind of disagree here because uh, I don't think uh, every time somebody falls in love, it's got everything to do with a stalker. And uh, how else does it start even in real life? You know, a guy likes a girl, he's going get, to get out, he's going to follow her around a little bit, exchange phone numbers, and that's how it happens. Let's no, no. not forget. A guy likes a girl, say, Simi, please. Hmm. A guy likes a girl, they exchange phone numbers if she wants to. Correct. If she says Correct. no on day one, he doesn't spend the remaining six Correct. months chasing her. But we cannot entirely blame films for uh, doing this, for objectifying women. I'm sure they have object objectified women in various films, in various films. I do not disagree with that. But to say that they're completely responsible for rape, I think Bollywood and no, I also don't, hang on, hang on. I don't, I don't <laughs> think. I don't think the minister has said that they're responsible for rape. She okay. says, and, I, and I'm quoting what she says, she says, that in these movies, young men are encouraged to touch women without their permission, to stalk them without their permission, to show a complete persistence until the woman her, her sort of, she wears down. Succumbs. And eventually she, she succumbs and gives way. And she's asked the industry to be more responsible. I see absolutely nothing wrong with that. I uh, completely agree with her, Simi. Naveen Chamal, you disagree. Go ahead. No, I'm not disagreeing. I'm fully agreeing with you and Menka ji. She has made a very mature and well-studied statement. And she has been uh, making a very balanced statement on this particular issue. And she's had the courage to speak so. Because she knew that a lot of people will criticize her. And some of them are, I think, criticizing for just for the sake of it. But please appreciate. See, in the movies, when we watch a hero, we have a prejudged notion that he's a hero, he's going to be a good person. So whatever mischief he does with a heroine, we accept that he's doing it as a good person. But that is the big difference between the real life and the real life. In real life, many people are not heroes. They ultimately are impressed by that particular uh, movie scenes and they try to tease the girls hoping that the girl will succumb or will give up to their demands. So that is a very, uh, as you rightly said, Faye, it is a first step towards the various crimes. And ultimately they are crimes under our law. Hmm. You know, let me point this out and I'm going to bring in uh, Kashyap Swaroop here. Kashyap Swaroop, did you know that this is a case in 2014? An Indian man was accused of stalking for 18 months, one woman in Australia and another woman between 2012 and 13. Now, this man turned around and said in his defense in court that Hindi movies have contributed to his belief in the fact that a woman will eventually fall in love with him if he stalks her for long enough. 
The magistrate, Michael Hill, agreed that his cultural background explained his behavior. And this sort of stalking is normal for Indian men. Swarup, Kashyap Swarup, as an Indian man, is this normal? Uh, right. So, um, uh, not only am I uh, an Indian man, I also come from the film industry. Um, mm. And uh, one thing I do realize is that, yes, of course, it has some sort of um, uh, influence on our viewers when they uh, see films that are um, just irresponsible altogether. And there needs to be better checks and um, uh, measures in place to tackle such problems. Uh, but that being said, um, is that a problem or is it just uh, symptomatic of what is a far deeper issue? Uh, we're talking about systemic um, patriarchy. We're talking about something that starts from a very young age. Okay, where so, okay hang on. Let me ask you this, Kashyap. Now, you as a member of the industry, I'm sure you accept the kind of influence that the film industry has on a country like India. We, they say, and, and, and I wish really that this was true, that we only have two religions in this country, which is cricket and Bollywood, which the unites us all. So let's not step back and say that when something pops up in a film, it doesn't influence us. It doesn't influence a large portion of this country. Right. So uh, you're absolutely right. Uh, Bollywood and cricket are uh, the two major religions. Uh, but how come we never really point a finger at um, in fact, quite literally point a finger at uh, Virat Kohli when he points or pulls out a finger uh, on screen. I think how there were plenty of fingers pointed in that um, direction of but, how it was being irresponsible. Virat Kohli spent a lot point. of time, yes, uh, you know, justifying what he did. But mm -hmm. ans answer my question. Okay. Cricket, cricketers have it far easier. See, I think... Do they really? I, yeah, they do. I think we're victimizing uh, an entire industry where kind of... No, you know, at the cost of sounding a little bit um, too extreme on this issue uh, as an opinion, I think uh, we have to look at um, the symptoms. The symptoms are that from a very young age, we use uh, abusive words uh, that kind of are directed towards your mom, towards your sister, uh, but we don't really, uh, you know, use words that are directed towards our fathers. Um, and did these words emerge before Bollywood or were they... Uh, uh, you know, words I, don't that think, came I, I don't think that we we're arguing that Bollywood That's is the good. origin of everything that is evil in this country. We're saying that Bollywood perpetrates a certain idea, like we're seeing on our screen right now, that it is normal to grow, to stalk, and to pursue a woman, a woman after she has said no to you. And a lot of young men who have access to Bollywood grew up thinking that that is okay. I want to bring in Sanjana, who is an actor. Sanjana, uh, same question to you. Where do you stand on the debate? Do you believe that Bollywood or any film industry for that matter could be more responsible when they display this sort of behavior? See, I definitely do not agree with this because uh, I'm an actor myself. While I'm wearing clothes on screen, which are like you're seeing me dressed up right now, I'm sitting in your news panel with due respect. I'm wearing a totally covered outfit. If I'm wearing a short dress and dancing on screen, doesn't mean I'm doing that to tease the entire world. I'm doing that as my job. No, no, no. Every Sanjana, actor is Sanjana, doing you've that not as understood their job. My question. And uh, uh, Sanjana, I think it's very allow me to easy to, you know, you. Uh, be a blame gamer. No, no, Sanjana, Sanjana, allow me to interrupt you. This, uh, let me ask the question again. Sure. The point of debate is this. There are films that are made in every language in this country that points out that even after a girl says no, if a boy continues to pursue her, to stalk her, to call her, to grope her in public, to hold her hand without permission, to pull her into the cornfields, to pull her into a, into a stack of hay, that she will eventually give in. Does this, in your opinion, encourage young men to stalk and grope? That's my question. No, I don't think this encourages people to stalk and grow. Then I think, you know, there are equally good films which are made like Dangal. There are films made which, made which are like Mary Com and, you know, where pe women are boxing men over. Then why are these men still coming and stalking people over? I think they should have a look. Even, even these are films, right? Even this is Bollywood. Even a Mary Com is a film. Even a Queen is a film. Even a Dangal is a film where they are girls like, don't they, haven't they heard of people like Geeta Fogart or Babita Fogart? Why don't, they, why don't do they get inspired by these people? People. I think this is totally a blame game. Ladki ne sleeveless dress penli, to chalo usko chalk kar do. Just because she's wearing sleeveless, let's stalk her. On the other hand, if a girl is wearing short clothes, let us stalk her. If she's a call center girl, then let's stalk her. She's not a, you know, a girl who, who's not supposed to be stalked because she's working in the night. If you watched a Bollywood movie where the hero is running behind a girl and he's stalking a girl in the movie, okay, let's stalk a girl. I think these are all reasons which are made and this is clear blame game and it has to be in a man's upbringing 
very Stalker is not Supreme uh, Court has uh, very been scientifically great, studied been this issue of psychological is not bought and up very well. Famous Chandrakant Kakodkar's case playing the blame game. The reading a book or watching a uh, some photograph doesn't have much impact on a man's mind, but the watching a movie creates a very deep impact on a person's mind. There so Supreme Court has also very scientifically analyzed. Job. So a if we start showing in the movies a certain thing which is not re in real in life and somehow encourage certain hooligans or boys with uh, say not proper character to stalk the girl, ogle them, follow them, chase them, which is actually a crime under our laws. So, so it will ultimately drama, influence certain young boys. Okay, uh, so let, let me bring in the other voices here. I want to give everybody a chance to speak. Palkan, uh, Palkan, tell it's me this. There is a there's a there's a film, a very big film that was released called Bahubali. The hero stalked the heroine. Then he helped her by removing her clothes, touching her lips without her permission, making her beautiful, and the heroine was shown to be impressed by all of this. Do you believe in some level? And and fundamentally, the debate comes down to consent. Okay, that a woman might say yes or she might say no. When she says no, you have to respect because no means, means no. no. Do you think on some level that, that sort of demeans a woman's consent, Balkan? It totally does. And, uh, you know, I do agree with uh, most people who've said, yeah, obviously their cinema is changing. It's not the same. But if you look at uh, the past um, uh, records and movies, like uh, I, as a person as who's grown up in Bombay, and I think I am very well educated, but you have to realize that we live in a society where there are people who are educated as well as non-educated. And movies influence every kind of people. When you say it's a state of mind, it yes, it doesn't influence someone like me. But yes, a movie like Chuck, they would influence me and be like, okay, yes, I'm motivated to do something crazy tomorrow because I need to go get uh, achieve my goals. But the same kind of movies, like when you're talking about movies like Bahubali or Grand Masti or things like that, they motivate some other people saying that, okay, I listen, I need to get a girl in life. So exactly. this motivates yeah. me to do that. And, and let's, let's, that's acknowledge, how let's acknowledge the lack of sex education in this country. The fact that we don't talk to our young people. All their information comes from their movies. Now, to respond to what Sanjana said, in 2016, Sanjana, 225 Hindi films were released. One of them was Dangal. One of them was Mary Com. Oh. What happened to the remaining 223 films? Why do we only have two films that empower women? And let me bring bring in right there now this, see, to this question. Well, Akshadeep Shabir. The brighter side of the sun. Like, you know, act. Right. Akshadeep is a director. Akshadeep, do you want to answer that question? If we yes, have course, one, uh, you know, it's just entertainment. It's just Akashdeep. Akashdeep, I'm sorry. I beg your pardon. Akashdeep. If we have one Dangal and one Mary Com, does that absolve us from the Grand Mastis yeah, of, see, the, I, of, of the industry? No, it does not. But out of the 225 films, are you trying to tell me that the remaining 210 films were based on rapes? This is a ridiculous generalization. I mean, I can understand that films 20, Correct. 30, 3, 4 decades back used to have rape as the most important ingredient in the turning point in the film. But today, I have rarely seen a film where, or where the rape sequence is the highlight or it forms the crux of the story. I'm not saying that out of 225, they're all non-rape films, but they are not the main focus it's of films. It's always done that Cinema the hero protects forward. the... Audiences have moved forward. And the for hero protects minister, the izzat of the heroine. That is what is the highlight in Indian for a, films. For a responsible minister, एक विलन होता है, एक विलन होता है सौ फिल्मों में, but सौ के सौ फिल्मों में हीरो बचाता है हीरोइन को। I can fail. Right? There's one or two rapes happening, but that also she's been rescued. No, no, I'm. Exactly, and they also send out the message that to be raped Look is not right mean to be just an outcast. You are still going to be accepted in society. Also, if you look at most of the superstars, when we were talking about Dar, I think Shah Rukh Khan was not a superstar. But if you look at most of the superstars right now, whether it's Salman, whether it's Shah Rukh, whether it's Amir, whether it's Akshay, you know, or any of the top heroines, they are not very comfortable. And I don't think any of the recent stories have dealt with rape or you know such kind of stalking where it's giving. Uh, uh, you know, ideas to young men. No, exactly. Exactly. The in your dad none, also, none. Shah Rukh Khan played the villain. And he was a, a very big star. And he he loses a, a girl to a good man. Okay, all right. Let me bring no, in no. Dr. Anjali Chabria. Anjali Chabria, Anjali Chabria, Anjali Chabria, where do you stand on yeah. this on this debate? 
And, and like, I'm pointing out over and over again, the minister yes. has not said she will censor. She has not said anyone see, see, will I ban. She has asked for the industry to be more responsible. Mm -hmm. Dr. Chabria. Exactly, exactly. We are, very we are already exactly, responsible exactly. people. I they don't flaunt like small clothes and run in clubs and dance, right? should take their responsibility. We are and, extremely and, mature. And one second, we one second, one second. Let, let, her like, one let, second, let her one make second. her point, We are only please. talking about Bollywood here. Go ahead, Dr. We, Chabria. Go ahead. We are only talking about Bollywood here, but what about the Bhojpuri movies? What about the songs? You know, I mean, what do they, what do, they do? They are just encouraging, they are just saying that, you know, hasi to fasi. That is something that is being encouraged. And I am not, I think, I think she has made a very responsible statement by saying, let's all be responsible hasi to for fasi that. Na, I ne, agree that na. we should have sex education in schools. And I don't think she is blaming the movies. Hello, hello, hello. Hasi to fasi ka matlab kya? You, there is no consent over here. Ki if she has smiled, that means she is agreeing to have sex with you. This is what it is. And there is, we are not talking about the intelligent exactly. viewer over here. We are no, talking no, no. She's about not crying or she's not forced no to do access. something like that. She has agreed exactly. to get into a relationship. Yeah. That's what it means. Darling, darling, what if, we are if saying is... If she's forced into it, then it's different. No, if but you know what it is? She's asking you to, she is asking you to be more responsible. It's, it's I'm telling you out of personal experience. That movies uh, do influence Absolutely. people. When you're growing up, I means I grew up we, in an era no, where we there have were to be just more responsible. And right, uh, Palkan, go ahead. Palkan, go ahead. I grew up in an era where there were no mobile phones. Where your parents are not. There were landlines. But filmmakers are responsible. Guys, let me speak. Okay, okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. One at a time. One at a time. One at a time. If one second, one second, ladies and gentlemen, if we speak over each other, our audience cannot understand. Can I? I okay, I, I know that the, the members yeah. of the industry are saying yes, filmmakers yes. are very responsible, yeah, but this is also an industry see. that released films like Kya Cool Hai Hum, Grand Masti, and then Great Grand Masti because the film did so well that it merited a sequel yeah. to the kind of Masti we were talking about. Yeah. And we've all seen posters of that also, film. Also, let's this not industry forget a is where no means no. But she, this okay industry is also to governed, is also and ruled by a Hindu board. Like if their parents are okay, let it be the line of and day. And the the, the government has already put them. We have a problem with it. No, can I make my point? Can I just... Okay, all right. One second, one second. Let's just go one can at I just, a time. Can I just, can I just say something? Akshadeep, go ahead. Can I? Akashdeep, go ahead. Akashdeep, go ahead. Yeah, what I'm trying to say, what I'm what I'm trying to say is that the government already has a censor board yes. which was actually meant to certify films but decides what is right and what is wrong and what should be shown and what should not be shown. So exactly. that kind of responsibility besides being in the exactly. filmmaker, we have a check checking system. Why is the government not realizing that they have failed as a government to first educate and secondly impart sex education to people? Rapes have exactly. been happening. They need to, uh, they need to cross more forms. Rules to take care of from, women. They don't need to blame Bollywood or any when there was cinema. No cinema. See, that right, was not... Right. You know, I, I, I don't think she's blaming Bollywood. I just want to bring in... I just want to bring in the younger voices on the panel for just one second. I want Palkan to speak. Palkan, Palkan, as a young lady growing up in the country, have you personally faced an instance where there was someone who was emboldened by what he saw in a film and thought he could get away with stalking or thought that was the way into your heart? Yes, definitely. I'm going to give you a live example of the fact. I don't know if you remember the movie called Jurba. There are two characters in the movie. Obviously, one is a rowdy gunda and the other one is a very sajan and son. Guess who got more promoted? Obviously, the guy who was the rowdy oh, guy. Because hmm. all he got excited is when he saw someone's ass, he just wanted to slap the ass. So, clearly, my point is that I have gone through this myself, where I have seen people follow me. I've been like, uh, because they've gotten excited, they've, they've basically uh, quoted lines of movies. So, I am just trying to tell you here, we're not blaming anyone, but what we're just trying to say is that there has to be some kind of responsibility towards this. Because you try and think that we are educated, so we, it doesn't influence us. But there is a society that it influences. You may not believe it, 
you because you've probably not no, no, gone through no, it no, no, no. but no. someone who's gone through no, it and i'm telling you that people do no society gets influenced by films and they take it personally our right. people who Linda, are not, who but, but they do right, right? so okay. that's what she's asking you to do she's yeah, just asking you to be a little more responsible just be be responsible brinda brinda adige brinda adige do you think that films could afford to be more responsible brinda adige do you believe that that films can afford to be more responsible right now that is something that they could do okay one second one second just he places if you have to look at a sharukh khan i want to take over i'm sorry if you have to look at a sharukh khan he places a heroine film even before his when it comes to the title card that is that's how much later after how many ever years that has been like it's much much later no, like no, no. quite recently. see nobody is arguing see yeah, hang on hang on let me make this very clear nobody is arguing and nobody is calling the people in bollywood happening. misogynistic that would there be a completely a different debate i would be far more time to do that we're simply saying that this concept of stalking being okay and stalking being the only way should we rethink that concept in the strips of our films kashyap sir go ahead you know uh, you cannot take films personally Ma'am, can I speak? Yes. Go All right. Ahead. Um, so I'm sorry, you can't take films personally. Films is only entertainment. All right. So you, you should put that in bold before you start the film. Kashyap, please. So I think by now we're just trivializing the issue. The issue absolutely, is absolutely, uh, absolutely. One does, second. Does, Let the young man speak. Absolutely. To educate do, the people to just think it's fiction. I think do we yes. Love do, do 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 films um, perpetuate? Uh, sexism yes uh do films perpetuate and not all films some films yes um but cinema or any other art is just a mirror that we hold against society it shows you what society is thinking why do you think great films like ship of thieves just do okay uh in uh, in the uh, in the uh, box office but uh, films like grand musty do really well uh why do you think films like pink uh, just about break even uh but um, you know other films uh, such as uh, let's say golmal uh, do so well and in fact let me also remind you that the same man who do, did jumma chumma lele a while back is now playing a lawyer who's fighting for women's rights all right um, so i'm talking about amitabh bachchan of yes. course uh, so i think cinema is changing is deep rooted sexism prevalent yes do we need manika gandhi to be focusing on this as an issue i have my doubts you know art will evolve as a society and then society will evolve okay, with okay. that okay okay i understand your point but let me let me just let me just take this to brinda adige one second one second i i will no i'll come back to you brinda hasn't spoken yet brinda please so, come in uh, yes yes one second everybody just one second brinda adige here's my question so when we say pink and dangal and the likes of those and and mary com we say that here are great films that empower women so society will learn from them but when we put out films like grand masti we say this is fiction society cannot be possibly influenced by it isn't there a double standard here brinda absolutely double standards over here because we when we are looking at mindsets and attitudes getting formed we also need to look at critical mass and when you are looking at critical mass out of 100 films we have almost 97 films that glorifies talking that glorifies sexism the script the songs the lyrics the moves not all of it not at all and there is no second ways about no no let's let's not, not let's not split hair and beat around the bush but i do not agree that uh, manaka gandhi should generalize yeah, and say that bollywood movies are the only ones to influence because we are also Correct. looking at khap panchayats we are looking at the internet we are looking at the okay. darkness that's, that's we are looking point, at let me just point out, out yeah, yeah. All right, all right. i would really like available. to say something here why just I point out to no one second one second i understand what brinda is saying let me point out to the audience community. one one moment one moment Which? that manika gandhi mrs manika gandhi was speaking at the goa ad fest she was speaking to the advertising and entertainment industry she was not speaking at a conference for cup panchayats she was not speaking at a conference for anybody else so she made a statement to the industry who had invited her to speak saying that i wish the industry would be a little more responsible in how you portray women she didn't say again that she was bringing in censorship she didn't point out that you are solely responsible she was speaking no, at so, this okay. event and she said i would like this industry to be more responsible and just to clarify this let's play out that bite one more time for our audience who might have just joined us right now at 9:30 i think we actors should be allowed to go to a government firm and say that you know we need a more firm rule rather 
Please, by all means. In fact, I think I think no, no, no. I think it would be fantastic. Something which has to be absolutely, Sanjana. I agree with you. I think it would be fantastic if the actors in this film industry went out and demanded better rights for women. People listen to actors more than they listen to anybody else in this country. Go out and fight for the support of women. Please do so. Nobody stops you from doing so. And okay, let me let's let's just listen to that. Let's just listen to the statement made by the minister, tell you which we are discussing right, right now, and and then we'll come back and we'll take callers. We have we have viewers on the phone line right now from all the way from Jammu and Kashmir. I want to quickly hear this bike one more time. Please play it. Almost always in every film, starts with Eve teasing. The man, the man and his friends will surround a woman, be mean to her, trip her up, show her down, uh, abuse her do touch her inappropriately and then slowly slowly she falls in love with him and then the rest of it is you know he fights with somebody or the other and then finally gets her but always the medium is starts with violence and when we talk about films today they're exactly the same as films um, of the 1950s in the same method in every regional or Hindi uh, film so maybe we could look at that and think that should we be using this medium to propagate violence should we use this medium to propagate violence mm -hmm. that's and that's the uh, same issues wait one second ronald is on the phone line from pune ronald go ahead what would you I, like to I, say can i just can yes I yes uh actually i'll come to you i just want to hear out our viewers okay. i'll come to you i'll come to you straight after this ronald go ahead good evening all good evening this the bollywood movie is mostly encouraging people to do the wrong sometimes now you to see the murder act and the murders mostly murders the filmy style they said the filmy style the murders are accepted that they have done it in the filmy style i have seen the people of the teasing in my own eyes on the filmy style teasing the uh, girls yeah. following them hmm. and doing going and touching appropriately and nobody can save them on the road because the gang and this is all what i want to say and right. so film i right. accept what uh, Malika Gandhi said is right. Okay. Kuruvila is on the phone line from Kerala. Kuruvila, go I, ahead. Can I, can I just... Hello. Okay, all right. I'm going to go over to Akash Deep. Akash Deep, you have the floor. Go ahead. Yeah. See, when, uh, regard, regarding what Menika Gandhi said, she must understand that cinema is not in the business of social engineering. All we do is show you what is happening in society in a dramatic, in a realistic, in, in, in a satirical, sometimes in a comical fashion. Any molestation, indifference or, or uh, women being subjected to any kind of stalking has been happening long before cinema started. We reflect it in our movies and even the style of cinema is changing. There might be 20 films on rape in this entire year, including the national award winning Rustam, which no, just no, won no, the national award, which was a famous plan. She has, has she not award. made a very extreme so statement very against the cinema. Made. She has not what made I that it is say, only the cinema which is responsible made. for no, the I mindset like of the generation. No doubt, to a certain extent, the cinemas are the reflection of the society. But the real life is altogether much different from the real life. And what they are portraying is something super. उमन let me just we show you can i interfere here i have a south indian patient life. since i'm from south india okay all right hang on hang on let's all calm down we because we show you we... what's happening in real life can exactly. i ask exactly. you how many times and how many uh, a number of people are actually physically Man, and mentally abusing their wives have we thought Me. about that a uh, bollywood movie is just there for 2 hours ask those wives who go through this for months and years together no, i don't but think the movies they are justifying it just, they are justifying it just no. because a hero is a hero he's fed up something let me let me go over his job 
Do not talk over each other. My audience cannot understand you when you talk over each other. This is not that kind of show. This is actually a show where we hear each other. And if we don't listen to each other, then there's no progress being made. So wait till I call upon you to ask your question or to answer your question. We don't do that kind of show on this channel. I want to go to the two people who actually know how many women are being beaten, how many women are being groped, how many women are being hurt every day. Dr. Anjali Chabria, I, I, and my question remains the same. There is no doubt and it is really yes, well yes. documented. See, how, one second, how, sure. how, yeah. how much reach Bollywood or any other film industry has in our country? How every person in every street corner, every nukkar has seen the film. So, is it too much to ask the industry that has that kind of reach and power to be a little more responsible when scripting? That's the question. See, I definitely think that the, in the movies, and we are not only talking about Bollywood movies, we are talking about all the different regional movies. I definitely all think movies. they have an impact on the human mind. And all minds are not as mature as ours. So we need to be more responsible. Maybe they are not the only ones who are showing the crime. But just think about a young girl who is studying in a college in, uh, you know, maybe a small city. What happens to her? I have met so many girls. Last week I met a girl who said that she was being chased by these guys and she was on the third floor. And she said they were all singing songs and chasing her. And she told me that if there was no staircase at that end, I would have jumped out of the third floor. Now this is definitely, you know, when you have this uh, movies which are kind of saying that, okay, it's all right to tease women, it's all right to, you know, because once in a while they're going to, they're just going to resist for some time and they're going to give in. Definitely these are, these are minds which are getting influenced. And of course, the, everybody needs to be more responsible. The schools need to be more responsible. The parents need to yes. be more responsible. All of us needs to be more responssible. So I, I, have, I have one second. I have, one, I have a question. I have a question for Kashyap. So Kashyap, you're, you're a young yeah. man who grew up in a big yeah. city and went to a good school. I assume. But Did you have a, even one class or even one session where someone explained to you, with your level of access, that it is important for a girl to say yes, that it is important for you to ask first? Did anybody at all give you that piece of information when you were growing up? Yeah, I think that's a very interesting question. It uh, boils down to whether we respect our women enough and whether we were taught to respect our women. Um, and no, in school we were not really taught about uh, consent. Um, but back home, uh, my mother made it a point for me to understand that when a woman speaks, you must listen out. Uh, when, uh, when a woman is not okay with you doing something, you must refrain from doing it. Uh, so consent true. was taught to me back at home. It's all about the upbringing. And it's, all, it's absolutely all about the upbringing. If you really, this is just eyewash. Let me tell you, this is all eyewash. When they're telling you that films influence it's certain... It's about the upbringing. It's about the upbringing. And also let's talk about what are the bills in place. All right? I want to talk about... Manika Gandhi has this habit of making like scathing remarks about things. She previously spoke about the marital uh, rape bill that was supposed to be tabled. Um, and she's, her excuse for not tabling it was that there is already um, uh, a Violence Against Women's Act, uh, which has uh, a marital rape clause. But apparently that marital rape clause isn't even a criminal offense. So if you commit marital rape, uh, there's, Fair enough, just, but it, let's it, stay on point. Let's it, stay, it, on to point. stay on it's yeah, very to stay rich. point. It's very rich of someone to say that films are to be blamed but when you don't even do your basic yeah. obligation. She is the minister for women's and ch uh, children's okay. Okay. Uh, uh, development. All right, all right, all right. I understand what you're saying. I want to go back to Palkan here because I saw her I, I frown. One second, one second. It's very say. easy to play the blame yeah, yeah. game. I, I, saw, I, I saw Palkan frown at that like story you. of the young lady who was being chased by a group of boys who said she would have jumped off that balcony if there wasn't a staircase available to her. Those are scary stories, but those are real stories that we exactly. are all too aware of in our country, Parker. Yes, it does happen. Like I'm telling you, uh, the area I grew up in, there was a slum very close to that area. So I have gone through this for like seven, eight years of my life. where I've been followed by people. So when you say that movies don't influence, I'm not saying that all movies influence and all movies are bad. There are good movies, there are bad movies. But they do influence. When you talk about upbringing, please explain to me, how do you 
But it's you a know, movie. It's just entertainment. No, let's just yes, finish. No, but let me just finish yeah. talking. Somebody like, is getting please murdered. Please explain to me. When you're talking about upbringing, it's you're talking about it's our drama. parents who brought us up. Our parents are very well educated, and they've brought us up. What, what about the people who are born in slums? Who is bringing them up? Exactly. What is their thought process behind it? Who are they watching? They are obviously following someone they believe in. They also believe also actors are gods for them. To yes. You you watch enough movies to know that they believe the actors are gods. Really if you watch the country. But now you know what? Okay, you, you know to, I I think there's there's the, you know the film industry here is so absolving itself of any responsibility while it enjoys the fruit of the influence point. that it has. When Let, the yes, of stern rules, I just have one more point. Say pa passing stern rules for women's safety and therefore they're yes, just no, making reasons. Yes, no, but nobody's no one saying everybody's saying be more responsible. Short look. I have one, one more point to say. Akash when you say Akash that you are actually portraying reality, then please explain to me. Kiss me, kiss me. No, I just have to uh, say one more thing. When you say that movies portray reality, what about movies like Kiss Me, Kiss Me, Touch Me, Touch Me? There are songs like this, right? And 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 in the normally in the Hindi movies, what we show is Akshay Kumar and Aditya Rajesh. Okay, but you know, 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 so we have to understand that the particular impact which Hindi movies is uh, putting on what the uh, lower strata of the society is deeply uh, endangering our girls. Right, right. Let me let me just then go back to our cast. Then you should not you should not let your family people watch movies. Do not let your family but people watch movies. But that's not the point. What everyone's saying. Also, I mean, do we do we know do we know honestly where our fourteen-year-old boys are going with their friends when they cut class to watch movies? Do we know what they're watching? That is what all of India grows up in in every street corner. Akash Deep. All we are asking for, all the minister said, is be more responsible. Why are we so vehemently against that? Why can't we just say, you're right, we'll be a little more responsible. Good point. No, Why no. can't we just say that? Okay, just give me a minute. Let me make my point. Absolutely. Yeah, I'll make and, my point. And, and think there of is no like we already responded. Okay, one, one at a time. One at a time. One at a time. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Can I? Can I just make my Ladies, point, please? Just one second. One second. Akash, go ahead. Let me make my point quickly. Just give me a minute, please. While I, whilst, whilst I, whilst I do not deny that we all have to be responsible, somebody just keeps talking on behind. Can I just make my point? Can I just make my yes, point, gentlemen? I heard you. I heard you. I heard you. I, I, you're making a ridiculous statement. Can I speak? Go ahead. Go ahead. There's nobody speaking over you, Akashdeep. Go ahead. If you are saying that the entire youth of India. The entire youth of India are all corrupt, are all bad, are all eve teasing only because of Bollywood. That's the point that we don't agree with. That's There is no denying that as filmmakers, we have to change with times. We have to be more responsible. But we are not into social engineering. There are thirty thousand rapes and just two hundred films a year out of it. Just fifteen or twenty films have a mention or a visual of rape. Are you saying the whole country is raping because of those twenty films? The generalization that I see amongst the few people in the panel that oh, only films are influencing. In fact, today's youth have moved away from Bollywood films. They Nobody don't have is time. So. They are very, on the very net. Good point. They are watching uh, all Nobody these kinds of so. shows. Very, very good point. Right, okay, let, let's hear the other voice. The Sorry, very valid. Ahead. This so the know, last I, point I want to make is the minister should realize. While I agree, while I agree that point, Bollywood can take a few tips, maybe it was just realize. a word of caution from Minka Gandhi, yes. and perhaps that Bollywood is uh, being very sensitive about this. But let's not put the entire blame on regional films and Bollywood. No. Are we no, forgetting that? Let's finish that. Let's finish that. But let's not forget what our drivers and our housekeepers are doing at home when we are not there, or when we are not there with them in their car. Which they are downloading porn, triple X movies for just five rupees, and they are watching those. Have we thought about how many incidents of rapes have involved taxi drivers? Because that's what they are doing, sitting idle on the road, so watching no, those uh, X, triple X clips that are no. given to them for that's five no. rupees. That's a dangerously classist remark. I, I think that's massively classist. I disagree with you. I disagree with you on two points. One is no, no. One is one is first of all, I think it's like like Kashyap very rightfully pointed out. That was a very very classist thing to say. 
that only the drivers are downloading porn. Let me point out the people downloading porn no, in every strata of society. Okay. I, I, I stand Everybody corrected. What I meant porn. is that also there are films that are released on a yearly basis that are no better than soft porn in this country. Really, really. Okay. Everybody has but actually to every movie has an item song without any uh, thing India's, to do with the script of the movie. Industry, India's, India's film industry. industry. Okay, hang on, hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. India's film industry, from last count, is a ten the billion dollar industry. It's a the ten billion dollar education. industry. Every industry has to do CSR. Every yes. industry has to take on a certain social responsibility. Is it too much to ask for this industry to be more responsible? Fair Remember, enough. the word is ask, not demand, not insist, not they censor. Have to be ask, Rinda Adige. It's corporate social we responsibility from a ten billion dollar industry. Please understand, we are two In different personalities. All actors are already, mm -hmm. most actors are already. Papa, nobody is targeting the actors. We are talking about the, the script. Camera should image. be. So on you are that on the that issue. Mean off camera and is a that murderer. means you cannot becoming mix, responsible. You on camera image with the off camera image. It's entertainment. That is not so. I think that's no, so. Already, that's so. Sanjana, that is a weak excuse to turn around and say, I'm one thing off camera, I'm one thing on camera. This is just entertainment. Don't take me seriously. You influence every young man in this country. There is nothing wrong with being a little more responsible. And we're not saying don't show the Eve teasing, but prove that the Eve teasing is wrong. Prove that the stalking is wrong. Don't condone it. Don't make it the way. characters in 10 different films. Fe, can I and, just quickly and, and make basically quick, the minister no, has no, appealed no, to the conscience of the film industry. That's all. Can I say something? Yeah, I have an answer to you. Okay, okay, again, we are all talking at the same time. Make point. Just one yeah, point. Yeah, one fe. second, one second. I had asked Brinda Adige to make a point. Now. I'm going to go to Brinda Adige. Brinda Adige, we are all listening. We are not going to interrupt you. We are not going to interrupt you. Brinda, go ahead. Fe, Fe, I want to say something after this. And yes, yes. Okay, we'll do a round of closing statements for everyone. For everyone, Sanjana, I just want to hear what Brinda has to say. Brinda, go ahead. Uh, Faye, you talked about CSR and I think that is a responsibility that the film industry should take. Both regional, the Hindi, the Tamil, the Kannada and whatever it may be. But the government also has to take responsibility to see how they can curb all forms of porn that is so easily available. And the primary responsibility, like you pointed out, has to be with the films and the script writers and the songs and the item numbers that are portrayed as women being available as objects. This needs to change and this yes. CSR should come from the films. Entertainment right. cool. cannot be different from your face that is on the society out there. People look up to heroes and heroines which means they have a responsibility and they need to set an example. All right, so, uh, Kashyap. Uh, so I have a couple of more points to make. Uh, firstly, I don't think banning porn is a solution. I watch porn, all right, and uh, mm. and there's nothing wrong with watching porn. Uh, secondly, out of 31,446 criminals charged between 2012 and 2014 for sexual harassment cases, only 146 were convicted. Let that number sink in. How many of them watched movies? Does it matter? Only yes, 146 yes. were convicted. This is this is the problem. People just aren't afraid of uh, harassing a woman. There is no action to be taken. There is under-reporting of cases and under-recording of cases. And this is a... Very okay, valid point. No, no, Very I agree with you. And, and I've cited that Agreed. statistic uh, Agreed. Kashyap, Agreed. several Agreed. times Agreed. on this Agreed. channel. Agreed. I agree with you. The conviction rate, especially when it comes to molestation and stalking, is abysmal. Acid is available in our markets for 25 rupees. It can ruin a life. It is a weapon. It's contraband. It should be banned from the markets. All of those things, I agree with you. My question remains I... the same. Yes, I will come to everyone on this panel, Kashyap. Yes or no answer? Can I add, can I add one something second, to this One second, sir. Point? One second, sir. Kashyap, my question remains the same. For a $10 billion industry, is responsibility too much to ask for? No, not at all. I think uh, we all have to be responsible in our scripting stage. Uh, that being said, artistic freedom cannot be curtailed. Uh, freedom of expression cannot be curtailed because I have first-hand experienced Monica Gandhi's wrath when it comes to censorship. My father's film in 88 was banned for some trivial reasons. Um, so I know for a fact that the moment this conversation starts, it's a slippery slope. You have to be very, very careful about what you say with regards to what is okay and what is not okay. Be very, define it as crisply as you can, as well as you can. But don't make a scathing remark, remark like all okay. Bollywood films start all with right. a case well of harassment. Put. I think that's well a silly put. statement to Akash, make from her. Akash Deep. Yeah, 
I'd like to say that the only thing wrong in what Menaka Gandhi said, I mean, we all need to be a little more responsible, is that from the 50s and 60s, cinema has been the same till today. What she must realize is that has she even complained to the education department why we have no education and no sex education? Today is an era of technology. People are on the net. People are people are moving forward. And here there are ministers who are saying, don't eat this, don't wear this. Cinema should become a public service cinema, moral science. I mean, fiction is fiction. If people are not able to understand the difference between fiction and fact, please educate them rather than tell us. If people in cinema are crossing the line and doing a bad cinema, you already have a censor board that should ban them. There are mechanics in place, but the, the whole country is 80% of the country is uneducated. And one very valid point, out of 35,000 rape cases that are reported, like Kashyap said, only 150 are convicted. The percentage of cases of rape reported in India are less than 90%. So if registered figures are 35,000, can you believe the actual amount of cases? There is, there is law and order that is not working. There is education that is not working. There is social responsibility that is not working. And no, I, I, get I get all of that. I get all of that. Akash, the, I completely accept. Nobody, nobody campaigns for those things louder and, and more Where's vehemently than I do on this channel day after day. But I think no, I we cannot turn around and say, Meri galti nahi hai, wo kya kar hai. I think there is a shared Can responsibility I here. I want to go to Dr. Anjali Chabria. Dr. Chabria, let's take the example but of MGM. cinema MGR. is a mirror, ma'am. Ma'am, face, cinema is a mirror. Are sir, to fir aap documentary kar dijiye na. Aap fiction kyu karte ho? It's a mirror. Then only release documentaries yeah. of true stories. Are you telling me that nobody writes? Nobody writes this stalking. He grabbed her by the waist. He pinched her. He groped her. And then there is no actor who turns around and says, "Boss, ye kya likha hai? Aapne ye thoda sa change karo. Ye galat hai." You telling me that nobody has any will? You have to only show what is going on in society. Then make documentaries. Really? Then make documentaries. Of course, cinema has changed. Of Arre, course, I've cinema just said, has changed. Take responsibility. No, Why cinema can't we has say, changed. Yes, that's Earlier, a good point. I will worst. check next time. I'm reading a script. Let's not do this. Yeah, this is wrong. Why can't we do that much? Why can't we do that much? Ten billion dollar industry. Ma'am, it's happening. But that's already happening, ma'am. That's sir, already happening. Explain to me, Great that's Grand Masti. Someone explain to me this earlier. film called Great but Grand Masti. Someone tell me what the plot is. Simi, Simi Chandokis, what is the plot of Grand Masti? There is no plot. It's all what happens in this film? Very plain, uh, <laughs> vulgar humor. No, what happens? Oh, yeah, explain, let me explain, let me explain to Mr. Akashdi what happens in this film. Let me tell you what it There were two films. There was Grand Masti, there was Great Grand Masti. Was there a third one? I think well, there was yeah, a making fun okay, of the LGBT you community. They're me, making fun of girls. They're making me, fun of themselves. Let me tell you one thing. Let me tell you one thing. I think people uh, are completely so vulgarity to a new height. But the point is that it became all, a hit and people accepted the movie and they yes, liked it. It was labeled as an adult. No, no. I think I think why well, I should come in over here. But it's an adult. Why does it say that there are the because because adults don't grow up because adults don't stop. It's not in the eyes of some great. No, it no. doesn't say that children are the ones who are creating these yeah. issues. Yeah. We're, We're not saying that the little children are watching this grow. film and they are grow to be a little more responsible. When we are asking you to do the, something, okay, when no, we're saying, okay, let me let me ask, let me ask Simi Chandok. Okay, second question, you know, Simi Chandok, how is a film made? Shut that Twitter off. Not follow actors. How so is a statistic. film made? Is there, a, is there an option there for script writer, director, so show, a so multitude of assistant director, the actors have to influence this script yes, and, and then, then the censor board. So there are like, you're going through five layers of doing that. So uh, right from the uh, script writer to the director to the actor. Why not forget the actor who's going to play the role so you know he, he can put, put his foot down. It's like Salman Khan will always say that I'm never going to kiss a girl and he does not like his heroines to be uh, shown in a very skimpy uh, uh, or you know, like a very sexy avatar. He loves to uh, respect his women on screen at least. So yes, they are responsible, and at every level they, they can they sort, sort this out. At election, every level you can sort this out. And we're not saying change your script. We're not saying change your script. I'm just saying that if there is a, a piece of your script written where the hero of your film, not the villain, the villain can do whatever he wants because it's very clearly pointed out that he is evil and we should not, we should not pretend to be or we should not emulate the villain in any way. If the hero of your film is stalking or touching someone without permission, show that it is a bad thing. Hmm. It is a small part of your film. Is, it, is that too much to ask? Dr. Anjali Chabria. No, 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 no. I definitely think that we all have our responsibility and of course we should be a little more responsible. 
but that's not the only thing we need sex education because the problem is that we have so much exposure and we have nothing to correct it sex education yes. should be compulsory sex education in schools is absolutely important and, and sex education very rightfully said sex honest. education does we not involve consent right now we don't teach consent to either the boys or the girls but can as as a young lady citizen of this country i give you the last word you have you few seconds what so second second second. second. i would say is that I'm movies are going to be going in one second one second movies are going to be the way they are you cinema is changing what you could do for us in return is being actors being influencers create ad campaigns which say that this is wrong if you start doing that yes. then the way the movie goes it's not an issue you know because I, know. i understand it's a story it's a script you want to depict something and you you're trying to say that you're trying to depict our real lives but on the other hand if you do ad campaigns by famous actors saying that okay groping women is not allowed hmm. you know consent of women is necessary all those aspects if they are taken care of i think we'd be more responsible then that's what she's right, asking right. you to do she's you know, not asking yeah, you to absolutely. do anything more than and that you know i have to wrap up this this, this conversation one. but i want to point out that sanjana said something very beautiful actors she said have actors come put out forward for such things she said actors put out messages on a regular basis and actors could possibly go out and demand the stronger rules that we yes. need the stricter punishments that we need put out messages like palkan rightly pointed out saying stalking is not okay exactly saying hoping is not okay that fighting. message that message will be carried so much rules. further so much further than the ability of activists and the government to put it out if our actors said so if our actors put out messages saying you have to treat women with more respect actually all we need in this country is to explain the concept of consent ask her if she says no please go home maybe tomorrow you ask somebody else but you don't chase after the same girl after she has said no to you wearing her down and actually beating her resolve is not the way to her heart that makes you a criminal that makes you a stalker a molester nobody will love you nobody if your mother found out she probably wouldn't love you either do not chase girls thanks for watching